on YouTube. This is Miniman94 here to show you how to install a PCIe uh, 16 video card. And I just want to let everybody know I'm not liable for anything that happens to your computer. If you mess up, it's not my fault. I'm right. his lawyer. I have documented papers, and that is true. If you sue him, he would counter suit you. Anyways, what you'll need first is what comes in the packaging. Uh, a connector, either BGA or DVI, whatever you use. Some, Available some at most computer stores around the United States. Or one that just comes in the packaging. And then, of course, you'll need the video card. In this case, it is my uh, ATI Radeon. Uh, HD 4850. Which is available for about one ninety nine ninety nine at most common retailers around the country. Anyways, so let's get started. Okay, uh, first you need to go off and go to the start menu and right click on computer. Then you go down to manage and wait for that to load. Now you go to device manager and then you go to display adapters and you want to disable any other O either your old card or your onboard card. So you right click on that and click disable and yes. And then everything's gonna look really crappy. But don't worry, that's just part of it. Okay. And now, okay, that's it. I forgot to mention when, uh, you, after you do that you have to restart and boot into your BIOS. So it'd either be F, uh, F2, F8, or F10. You'd have to look at your screen. Then you go to either advanced or whatever it is, and it should say primary video adapter. And you want to change that to PCI 16, or it should say something like about something about a video adapter. And you want to change that to PCI 16, and uh, then you save and exit. Okay, now comes the actual part of installing your video card. First, you need to oh, and before you do anything, you need to be sure that your power supply has this cord. It's a six pin connector. Right there. And I don't know what this is, but this is a six pin connector right here. Be sure that you're be sure that it has that. Now you go over to the slot, be sure that everything's out of the way and you just kinda maneuver it in there. Okay, hang on, maneuver it in there. Okay, there we go. Make sure it's lined up and just firmly push it in, then you should hear a click. And uh, then after that you put your six pin connector in. Don't forget the six pin connector, that's the most important part. I know, it is, because if you don't then you'll hear a beeping sound and you'll have to go back into your computer and be really annoying. And there you go, and now you have it installed. We also after you've installed it, you have to take the VGA or whatever cord you have, put the adapter in adapter in right there. It's very difficult. I think you're just making it difficult. No, you're making it difficult. Okay, now you plug it in, of course. There. Either one will do, it doesn't really matter. And there we go. And then turn on your computer. Do. Okay, um, after your computer's all booted up, uh, I forgot to mention this in the beginning, you're going to need your driver CD or DVD, whichever format it comes in, but I have a CD, ATI Catalyst. Pop that into your drive. Since you're a German person, pronounced say they. Anyways, F okay, let that load up. Yep, let it load. Or you can just go to, if you're in Vista, you can just go to computer and... You can go to your computer and just start it up from there. Yep. My computer's being really slow. Okay, that just took a while to load. Okay, uh, now you go here and you go auto run. Again, that's auto run. And then you install the drivers. And after that, it, everything should be fine. Um, if, if you don't have a driver CD, go to the website of your video card maker, like 
ATI or NVIDIA or, um, you know, whatever card you have. Uh, if you can't find it, let me know. I'll look around for you, but I can't guarantee anything. Thanks for watching. We'd like to thank our sponsors, HP Pavilion Computers, Philips TVs, Sony Recording, and ATI Memory Cards for today's educational video on how to install your video cards. Thanks for watching.